Hi guys, so today I'm doing my February favorites and it seems like I just did my January favorites so a lot of the things are the same. I'm not going to mention some of those things that I mention all the time. I'm just going to mention a couple things that I have rediscovered and then um, some new stuff actually. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my concealer. I've been using the Pro Longwear Concealer and this is just one that I love. It doesn't crease under the eyes. It just um, you put it on and it dries and I think that out of all of the concealers that, I tr that I've tried, this one creases the least. So I really love this. I use NC20 for under my eyes and then NC30 for the rest of my face if I need to conceal some areas. But I just love this. I think it's a great concealer and I've just really been loving it. Another thing I've been using underneath my concealer is the Garnier Nutri Skin Renewal. This is the Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I just kind of pulled this out. I saw someone talking about it, so I just started using it again. And it just kind of provides a little bit of coverage. I don't know um, if it has stuff in it that um, helps with dark circles, but it seems to be working good and I've been loving using it. Another thing that I've been loving, um, this month is, I don't know if I talked about this last month, but it's Espresso from the L'Oreal Infallible line. It's just a dark brown liner, and I've been using this instead of black. I am wearing black today, but I've just been using this, and I don't know, I just love it, and it's not like super harsh. It's just really um, pretty, and it's, you know, it's something different, and I've been loving that. Another thing I've been using is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And this is just a really nice matte drugstore bronzer. Um, by far the only drugstore bronzer that I've actually liked. And it actually reminds me a lot of the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, the matte one. They just have like the same shade. The Park Avenue Princess has like a tiny bit of a sheen when you put it on your face. Not even that noticeable, but I can tell a difference when I put it on my skin. But the color, it's pretty much the same and this one's just a lot less expensive. So I've been loving that. And um, this month I've just been trying to use up a bunch of stuff that I have. I have so many foundations, so many different, um, just so much makeup that I just need to use up. So I haven't really been buying too much. I've just kind of been rediscovering things. Um, I've lately been using the Tarte Blush and Expose, and I'm wearing this today, and it's just a really natural color that anybody can really wear. Um, it's kind of like a mauve sort of natural shade. Super pretty. And then another blush that I've been wearing is Rosy Outlook from MAC. And this is a pro longwear blush. And it's just really pretty and natural. Um, I think this is another one of those shades. It's kind of like a mauve natural color that I think would really look good on anyone. And then for my eyebrows, since I've been using, I lightened up my hair and I've been using like the lighter liner. So I needed to lighten up on my brows a little bit and I've been using charcoal brown. And somebody asked me before what color I was using before and it's actually copper plate. It was like a gray shade, um, but I just wanted something a little bit warmer. So charcoal brown is what I've been using. My crease color, I've been using, this is, goodness soft brown, really good crease color, um, especially when you have like a tan, it just like makes your skin glow almost, like it's just like natural shading and it just kind of gives you a tan look, so I love that. And then I've also been using Smut, which is one of my favorite go-to colors, go-to shades. I use it underneath my lower lash line and then kind of in the outer corner and in the crease and it's just so beautiful, I love it. Okay, next for brushes, I've been continuing to use my Sedona Lace brushes. I've just been um, enjoying them and using them. There's a couple that I like, like the angled brush, I like the powder brush, and the liner brush, the, um, the uh, what is this, angled brush. Um, just a lot of them I've just been using and just enjoying using those. And then another thing, I've been trying to get a little bit of color in my skin and I've been using the Sun Goddess Sunless Tanning Lotion and this is my second bottle of this and I mix it with my lotion and it just gives like a nice gradual tan. If you put this on without mixing it or if I do, I get like super dark but because it's still like 
kind of just getting into springtime. Um, I just mixed. I actually tried a new dry shampoo. I watched the MM and L show. I love those girls. They're, they just crack me up and they're just so beautiful and I just love them. And they mentioned using the, I can't remember which one, one of them uses the Volumizing Dry Shampoo by Big Sexy Hair. And this actually works really good. It's more expensive, but I feel like I can put it on. It gives so much... Uh, volume to my roots and I feel like I don't have to use it the next day like some dry shampoos I just have to like use them every day um, but this I just feel like I put it in one day and it kind of drags on to the next day and I don't know I really like it I think that it's great and I'm gonna continue to use it. my favorite nail polish this month has been NYC's pink promenade 109 a and I just love this shade this is something that I could wear anytime it's the perfect like watermelon pink and I absolutely love it the base coat that I love is start to finish base and top coat by OPI I don't use this as a top coat but this is wonderful for a base coat and then for my top coat I've been using Sesh Beat um, I love this one and then also out the door but I'm out of that so I've been using this one up I think that's it as far as my favorites a lot of the other stuff is pretty much the same so I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon bye